All right, hi Gemini. This is going to be a quick and brief um, airy season message for you guys. This is for Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These are things that you can focus on during airy season. They're not going to be long messages at all. Um, just take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay. So let's see what Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus needs to focus on for airy season. And we're not going to do any tarot. We're just going to do a few oracle cards. So. What do Gemini place in the sun and rising? We need to know for every season. So we have work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. So you guys can have Scorpio placements or you can be a Scorpio with Gemini placements. And funny because Aries is ruled by Mars and so is Scorpio. So there could be something that, and Aries season is all about initiating things. Uh, you know, it's the, it's, it starts spring. So this is like things blooming, things beginning. So this is the perfect time to initiate anything that you want to initiate, Gemini, a business, a relationship, a project, I don't know, whatever, a, a workout routine. Um, anything, it, this is a great season to um, act on things, right? And fear could be what's holding you guys back for whatever reason. So work through your fears. We have your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. So heavy color purple here so far. Somebody's favorite color could be purple or something could be going on with your third eye and your crown chakra. You could be having some type of third eye and crown chakra awakening during Aries season. And if you think about it, Aries on um, the tower and tarot is Mars energy, Aries and Scorpio. And there's always like a crown for most of the tarot pictures. And, and sometimes with the tower, it kind, sometimes it can talk about a crown chakra awakening. So you guys can definitely be going through that at this time. So something could be happening that may be triggering your fears, Gemini, during Aries season and your commitment to yourself, to uh, to maybe a relationship, a partnership, a job, something that you're working towards, um, your consistency, your discipline is going to be tested here. And Aries is the energy that kind of starts things and doesn't finish. They get really, they can be a bit impatient. So again, you're going to be, you know, they could be a bit impulsive too at worst. So yeah, something's going to definitely be testing you a bit gemini okay so and then we have believe in the impossible blue moon so yeah third eye so blue so the color blue so throw chakra third eye and crown so those chakras you may want to work you may want to work on during airy season the throw chakra talks about um the thyroid talks about communication is ruled by taurus um and but and for the chakra per uh, Taurus rules the throat, but for the um, within the chakras, Gemini, I believe Gemini rules the throat chakra. It's about air, it's about speaking, communication. Gemini and Virgo, because we are ruled by Merc Gemini and Virgo, ruled by Mercury. So, anyways, uh, start speaking your plans into existence during every season because they may materialize really fast, okay? But also, you're gonna have to do the work, you're gonna have to do the actual footwork, right? Again, this may call for you to be in that emperor energy, which is ruled by Aries, which is a masculine energy, right? Air, uh, masculine energy is all about initiating, it's all about giving, it's all about acting, okay? Now, I'm, this is not to say to overextend or overcompensate say to overgive right but if this talks about there may be certain areas where you need to be acting and giving in certain areas where you may you may need to be receiving so maybe in regards to your relationships and your connections especially romantic it may be a time to you know receive and when it comes to your work any projects any anything that any type of um goals or whatever you have in mind it may be time to initiate and act and pour into that which is masculine energy so again you know um yeah <laughs> we got your dreams need a practical plan full moon and taurus so you guys can have taurus placements or you could be a taurus with a gemini placements we got aquarius here and libra also virgo and i saw sagittarius cancer is here too you could be on the cusp okay but your dreams need a practical plan so again you may need to whether it and the throat chapter talks about speech it talks about writing okay reading all of that so you may want to start writing things down start with smart goals for the um the season of Aries, Aries season, start with smart goals and take them day by day, okay? Don't overwhelm yourself. What's this work through your fears for Gemini placements? We got surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of re recreation and rejuvenation. So some of you guys, again, balance, play, balance like 
relaxing and balanced doing. Don't overdo. Don't just sit back and think your manifestations are going to come to you. You're going to have to work at them, okay? What's this? Your commitment is being tested. Surrender to setting limits. It is, it is healthy to set boundaries in your relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So again, I'm getting for a lot of you guys, learn how to, you, you guys could be um, learning how to commit to yourselves. If you say, okay, I'm going to go to sleep by 10 or 11, or I'm gonna put, that means you got to put your phone down. If your friend or your boyfriend or girlfriend or your kids or whatever wants you to do something past that, are you, do, you have the, do you have enough discipline? Is your boundary strong enough for you to say, hey, I'm going to head to sleep. This can be um, somebody asking you to do something for them and you know you don't want to do it. Are you going to say no? Your commitment to yourself, Gemini, and I'm not really, and it, and it could be to a relationship or a, a job or a work or a partnership or a goal, but I'm getting heavy. If you can't commit to yourself, you're not going to be able to commit to anyone else. So is your commitment to yourself strong enough? What's your commitment to yourself? Okay. So make sure uh, during every season, you're committing to your boundaries, whatever they are. Even in the ones you set with yourself. What's believing that possible? And we have surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path, period. Okay? And we have surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. you know, and then we have surrender your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment, period, Gemini. So a lot of you guys, this you're tapping into your magician energy, which is like that alchemy energy, a balance of the yin and yang, feminine and masculine, knowing when to give, knowing when to receive, knowing when to do, knowing when to relax, right? A lot of you guys are coming into like your purpose, you're coming in. You're starting to really real you're starting to really realize who the fuck you are and what your potential really is at this time during the season or or Aries that this Aries energy is going to be helping you do that all right and believe in the impossible surrender to trust whatever this is that you're working towards or you're trying to do or manifest believe that it's going to come in okay believe that you know you're going to have to kind of know what you want surrender to it and then do the necessary actions that need to be done you know align your daily routines and your daily habits to whatever your manifest to whatever your manifestation goals are or whatever goal you have in mind is okay and then act and then just trust the process after that don't overthink don't overcompensate don't try to don't get into that rushing spirit where you're trying to do everything at once and over apply and overdo and this is and that that's not going to help you actually it's actually going to push whatever this is you're trying to bring in away whether it's a relationship a job a money a home whatever it is okay let's get some self-care messages and we are finished so we got spend time with friends yeah for some of you guys some of you guys may have a fear of making new friends for some of you. So you guys need to get out, have some more fun, have some fun with your friends. Uh, yeah, have some fun with your friends. Go out to eat, go, you know, do something, have some fun, okay? Some of you guys could have been in like this hermit energy or kind of staying to yourself out of fear or insecurity. Or maybe you've recently gone through something, so you don't really want to be out and about. But it's time, you know, you got to balance work and play. All work and no play doesn't make for very fulfilling and content life. Okay, it's this self-care message for our Gemini placements. We have connect with your ancestors. Meditate. So some of you guys need to start meditating. So every season is calling for you to meditate because I feel like you could be getting like certain dreams and messages, omens, even like when you're walking outside, maybe you're seeing feathers and maybe you're coming across certain animals or insects or, you know, you may be having these weird dreams that you can't decipher or remember because that make your mind may be a little bit too busy at this time. So you're being asked, Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to... Um, to meditate because your ancestors, your guys, they're trying to connect with you. They're trying to uh, help you. They're trying to help guide you through something or towards something. And yes, family. Spend some time with family, your kids, your spouse, your family, you know, whatever. One more. Whoever you consider family. Your pets, your kids, your friends who are like family. 
and then we have connect with crystals so some of you guys may need to use some um some crystals here to um to help manifest something i know pyrite citrine are really good for success and green and all of that for abundance carnelian is great for fertility creativity uh sexual energy you know the also the um there are certain crystals for certain chakras so you may want to tap into that and we have make a vision board gemini make a vision board and this is yes your dreams need a practical plan Okay, it may be time to make a vision board, maybe get up with some friends. If you're having a hard time feeling inspired or you're not, you know, you're just not feeling it, maybe, you know, invite some friends over or plan a vision board party or get together with family or friends and everybody bring magazines or whatever things and, you know, everybody create a vision board. Or you, you can do it with pictures, words, whatever you choose. And once you make your vision board, what are those steps? What are the things like say you want to get better at yoga or say you want to become, say you're like, oh, I want to be more flexible. Then it may be time to adopt a daily yoga practice, even if it's just 10 to 15 minutes a day. Say you're like, oh, I want to save this amount of money by within six months or five months or four or whatever. Then you need to calculate how much per month you're going to that that's going to be needed. That's going to that needs to be saved. Or you're like, oh, I want to lose weight or I want to get more tone. You're going to have to figure out how much weight do you want to lose? Um, what you're going to you know, things you're going to need. How often are you how often are you able to work out? And to, even if it's just once a week, stick to that. This is about can this is about being realistic about your goals, Gemini, and, and sticking to them, even if they're even smart and they're, they're called smart goals. I believe it's I know the M stands for measurable. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I know that. I, I look it up. It's, it's just Google smart goals, and they'll tell you the definition for it or whatever. The me, you know. Um, and I know M is for measurable. So make sure, even if you're like, oh, I'm gonna work out once a week, stick to that. Whatever you, whatever is on your vision board or whatever is your goal, whether it's one goal or three, make sure it's something that you can actually stick to. Make it as easy as possible, Gemini, and stick to it. Because if you can't even do that, then it's like, I don't know what else to tell you. Also, whatever decisions you make, don't let, don't be swayed by anybody else's opinions. You have to have unwavering faith and consistent action to make this happen, okay? That's all you're being asked is unwavering faith and consistent action. Don't listen to other people. Okay, connect with your crystals. For, you know, again, you may need something for your, your third eye, your crown, or your throat chakra, Okay, maybe your solar plexus too. Heart for a lot of you. I'm getting from the sacral up. So you'll know, again, figure out what chakras. There's chakra tests that you can take. Figure out what chakras are out of balance. Okay, and um, yeah. But it's time, for, um, cons it's time for unwavering faith and consistency, Gemini. So this was your Aries season message. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.